Yo, it's a long time since I've done this, but hammer gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. Um, Georgia Tech versus Miami. Nail biter. Come down to the end. Miami survives again. 33 to 30. My score prediction was 27 to 24. That's tough. We won by three. That's tough. Now, congratulations to all the young guys. Of course, they're out there playing hard. As you can see, Tyler Van Dyke doing pretty good. You know, no turnovers today. Pretty good yardage and everything. We're going to get into that um, a little bit later. But um, Jeff Sims, Jeff Sims, Georgia Tech, man, terrible quarterback. Another week, um, terrible throws, terrible drops for um, other teams. Hey, we'll take those all day. It is what it is. The luck is in our favor. Um, Charleston Rambo, you know, had a pretty good game. Um, Jalen Knighton had a pretty good game. Looked like he was um, hurting that wrist. But nonetheless, came back in. Um, let me see, what else in this game, man? Avante Williams with his first ever interception. Congratulations to him. You know, him, James Williams, um, Cameron Kitchen. They've been doing pretty phenomenal in that safety um, position. Um, Tariq Stevenson did pretty well, came back in. Had a little um, injury earlier, looked like it was in the rib area, but nonetheless, he came back in. So I'm guessing he was fine, but, you know, I'm kind of still um, on the ups and downs on these injuries because, as you guys know, since Derek King came out and said he, you know, hurt himself against Alabama and they still played him, you know, I don't know how to take injuries at Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, but um, victory, man. We can't. We another nail biter. It, it, listen, with Manny Diaz as your head coach, that's what to expect. Nail biters. If listen, 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 listen. This is not a commercial. Let me tell you this: if you have high blood pressure, any chronic disease, any um cardiac, anything to deal with the heart, anything to do with high blood pressure and all that good stuff, stay away from the Canes this season, man. Stay away from the Canes this season. Listen, these games are coming down to the end, and it could go to either team, to either team. It feels like Manny Diaz's first season all over again. Listen, it's coming down to the end. We got the win. I'm happy. I'm happy for the guys. I'm happy for the, the kids in the locker room, you know, Borgalis and all them. Borgalis, um, shout out to him. Um, Listen, special teams, man. God dang. Two-point conversion. Took him back to the house on us. Sheesh, when are we going to do that, man? When are we? Listen, I haven't seen Miami return a ball in goddamn, I don't know, since how long. I think the last time we returned something on special team was um the miracle at Duke. God, dog it, man. Nine laterals, touchdown, Miami, we win the game. God, when are we going to see something on special teams? None of our guys can't run the ball back. Are we not? Man, listen. Offensive-wise, we did pretty good. We put up points. Um, defensively, I think the defense won the game for us most of the time this game. Now, Georgia Tech defense, on the other hand, they, they was phenomenal. They was phenomenal. They had, what, I think like maybe three turnovers, fumbles or whatever, fumble recoveries, and they took advantage of it. 14 points came out of turnover for Georgia Tech. So this game could have been a lot different if we had not turned the ball over. Now, 247 Sports, um, the guy that does the late kick show, I got to admit, my guy, you was right about the turnovers. You was definitely right. And you was definitely right that Miami would not cover the 10 points. And But you was definitely wrong, though, about Miami losing the game. We was not going to lose this. It, I understand, listen, trap game, nail biters, whatever you want to call it. But nonetheless, we won the game. You know, at the end of the day, Canes fan, that's all we can ask for is wins. I know there's the difference between winning and winning dominantly. Yes, there's a difference. There's a, we won, but damn. And then there's the, we won, but man, we blew they ass out. I want the, we blew they ass out. I don't want to have to hold my heart every game. Oh my God. Listen, most of these games, man, entertainment at its highest. I got to admit, it's entertainment at its highest. One minute we look like we could blow this team out. We jump out 14 to zero. And I'm like, okay, McCain's came to play. Next thing you know, bam, we down, we going into the half, down, down by four. I'm like, what the hell is this? Cardiac canes. This, this. <sighs> Manny, man, Manny, you survive another week. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we play Florida State next. 
<laughs> now Florida State is playing as as I speak right now, so I'm gonna watch that game and then um depending on how that game turn out, I might do a video afterwards. But nonetheless, man, Miami, we got the win. You know, not the one that we asked for, but nonetheless, it's a W, not an L. T2Y I'm out. Oh!